Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2021 Senior Scholarship Night. Uh, this is a big event every year at ETHS, and of course, because you're only seniors once, uh, unless you've had a family member uh, participate, uh, it is probably your first experience with it. But I can tell you that it is a big, big deal. It's such a chance to honor our uh, seniors, to honor their accomplishments, and uh, to give some scholarships uh, that amount to some serious money. Uh, we're really glad to have you here tonight. It is, of course, a virtual event, <laughs> as, as you know as you watch this. And uh, there's been a lot of planning put into this. Uh, so I really want to give a big shout out to the committee, all of the people who have worked really a awfully hard on this uh, to make sure that all the scheduling is done, all the planning is done, all the taping is done, and that we can have a virtual event that truly uh, celebrates our seniors. We are very, very proud of you. Um, this year, uh, as we celebrate, I just want to say that tonight you're going to hear a lot of wonderful things about these students. But I know as family members and as students, uh, when, when you hear these wonderful things, you won't be able to help but think, well, they left this out, or they left that out, or why didn't they mention this? I just want to give a uh, clarifier up front that we just simply could never include all of the accomplishments and all of the great things that these seniors have done. So please understand, we're not ignoring all of your accomplishments. We're not in any way minimizing them. We're simply trying to uh, have a program that highlights each of you, really makes clear the scholarship that you have earned, uh, and also makes it clear to everybody that you are an accomplished person and we have a lot to celebrate about you, even if we don't get it all said tonight. Uh, with that, I'm just going to uh, turn the program over to our uh, speakers and I think you're gonna really enjoy not only hearing about one another, but hearing about the different accomplishments and the different uh, uh, scholarships that all of you have earned. I'll say it in advance, and uh, I just want you all to know a big congratulations. The Rebecca Kranz Crown Award is awarded to Madeline Rodriguez. Madeline Rodriguez connects with all people, leading in the classroom and in her activities. Working hard in her classes at ETHS has led to academic excellence, including in her nine AP classes. Madeline's love of learning and intellectual curiosity have also led to exploring many different academic areas. As president of SHIP, the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, Madeline has expanded outreach to Latinos, growing membership from 17 her freshman year to 47 her senior year. During the pandemic, Madeline refocused SHIP by partnering with the SHIP chapter at Northwestern University to provide tutoring to Latinx students in the STEM fields. Madeline Rodriguez plans to attend University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and major in aerospace engineering. Congratulations, Madeline. The Catherine Colvin Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emily Ho. In her first coding course freshman year, Emily developed a deep love for coding. She later found that she was one of a few female students in her higher STEM courses and became a strong advocate for We STEM. Emily created groups to lift one another, collaborate on projects, and study together to ensure their success in higher level rigorous courses. Emily has also taken her leadership abilities to the Emerge program where she has been a co-chair. As a leader, Emily assists others in reflecting on their own personal beliefs and holds people accountable for their actions. Emily will pursue her education at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and will major in computer science. Congratulations, Emily. The Catherine Culver Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Danina Hughes. Danina has proven herself to be a very self-motivating and determined student at Evanston Township High School. She took full advantage of resources, teacher relationships, and extracurricular programs. She is an active participant in ETHS's track and field and tennis teams. 
Danina tutors younger students after school and during ETHS summer camp, supporting younger incoming first year students with adapting to ETHS. Danina's commitment to her education continues as she will be studying abroad this summer in Yucatan, Mexico. She will be taking a few classes and immersing herself in the Mexican culture. Danina will pursue her education at Chicago State University and will major in biology with a minor in psychology. Congratulations, Danina. The Kiwanis O.B. Davy Memorial Scholarship is awarded to David Robinson. Since David was six years old, he has dreamed about becoming a medical professional. During his time at Evanston Township High School, David has not deviated from his focus while balancing participation in extracurricular activities. He has pursued his goal by taking rigorous courses to develop his knowledge and preparation for his post high school study in the medical field. This has ensured that the medical profession would be his determined path for the future. David's ultimate dream is to attend medical school where he can continue to help others and contribute to the world around him. David will pursue his education at Tulane University and will major in neuroscience. Congratulations, David. The Dante Gerard Ellis Quest Scholarship is awarded to Constance Harwood. Constance's passion for engineering and STEM have helped her thrive inside and outside the classroom at ETHS. She's a passionate, hardworking, and enthusiastic learner. Constance is also actively involved in dance at ETHS and with Dance Center Evanston, and is a competitive swimmer for ETHS and McGaw YMCA. Her dedicated participation in Wild Kid Buddies, Student Ambassadors, and Women in STEM has shown how much she values connecting with others in the school community. Constance also works as a lifeguard, assistant swim team coach, and a babysitter. Through leadership and service, Constance has been a great role model. Constance will pursue her education at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, where she will major in civil engineering. Congratulations, Constance. The ETHS Boosters Award is presented to Haley Brown. Haley is a strong leader, team member, and role model, participating in ETHS cheerleading and the Destiny Cheer All-Stars team. With a strong academic work ethic, Haley has been awarded ETHS, National Honor Society, and Black Caucus Honor Roll recognition. Haley has also participated in Team ASAP and the ETHS Badminton team. Community service has been very important to Haley as she has dedicated time to the community picnic, Ricky Birdsong Race Against Hate, local soup kitchens, and connections for the homeless. Through ETHS classes and her own pursuits, she has developed an interest in going to law school in the future. Haley will continue her education at Xavier University of Louisiana, where she plans to major in criminal and social justice. Congratulations, Haley. The ETHS Boosters Award is presented to Mia Houseworth. Mia's passion for learning and outstanding work ethic have helped her grow and excel at ETHS. As an outstanding student athlete, Mia was on the badminton team for three years and the golf team for all four years, and she served as team captain this year. Other ETHS groups, such as Community Service Club, Climate Action Committee, Student Ambassadors, Math Team, Women in STEM, and Team ASAP have benefited from her leadership and commitment. Mia has also made a positive impact on the community through Citizens for Greener Evanston, the Democratic Party of Evanston, and serving as Chief of Staff for a mayoral candidate. Mia will pursue her education at Northwestern University, where she plans to major in learning and organizational change. Congratulations, Mia. The ETHS Teacher Retiree Scholarship Fund is awarded to Kalia Chapman. Kalia, a scholar who excels in her honors and AP courses, will be an excellent teacher who will inspire her own students in four years. From a young age, she watched her mother making a difference as an educator and knew that she wanted to do the same. Kalia's experience for the last three years as an individual aide to a special needs camper has only strengthened her commitment to being a teacher. In addition, Kalia's leadership, including as an ETHS POMS captain, will enhance her ability to reach, teach, and inspire students of all races, ethnicities, and identities. Kalia Chapman plans to attend Marquette University and major in education. Congratulations, Kalia. 
The Fam Jean Bell Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Layla Pryor. Layla has challenged herself academically throughout her high school career. Her dedication to academics is exemplified by her ability to earn honor roll throughout high school and acknowledgement for student of the month. Layla always takes it a step further, challenging herself academically while also gaining hands-on experience, supporting children ages five through 13 at Fleetwood Jordan Community Center with their academics and remote learning. In addition to working 20 hours per week, Layla volunteers at her church, is an active member of her church choir, is a member of ETHS's Advanced Vocal Ensemble, and plays multiple sports. Layla will pursue her education at either HBCU's North Carolina Central or Alabama A&M, and will major in psychology or social work. Congratulations, Layla. The Fam Jean Bell Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Elisa Walker. Elisa has a commanding presence, compassion as a leader, respect from her peers, and a passion for racial equity and social justice. While participating in FAM basketball, as well as playing on the ETHS girls volleyball team for four years, Elisa gained confidence in lifting the experiences of students of color. As an example of this is when Elisa worked with her coaches and student athletes who identify as people of color to share their stories and hold a discussion about volleyball and how race impacts students of color, as well as our athletic community. Elisa will pursue her education at Loyola University of Chicago, studying international business. Congratulations, Elisa. The Richard A. Jason Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Marcus Lewis Charles. Marcus has always enjoyed learning and challenging himself with the goal of attending a very selective university in order to become a physician. He has excelled in his honors and AP courses and chose to take AP Chemistry his junior year. Taking AP Chemistry and enrolling in a Northwestern Physician Exploration Program solidified his commitment to being a physician and being able to provide healthcare to people in all socioeconomic ranges. Marcus's care for others, in addition to his hard work and academic achievement, will help him to be an excellent physician with a caring bedside manner. Marcus will attend Northwestern University this fall and plans to major in chemistry. Congratulations, Marcus. The Albert A. Haller Memorial Award is awarded to Andrew Vai. Andrew is a passionate leader wherever he goes. He plays a key role in ETHS's swimming and baseball teams, choir, and percussion ensemble. Andrew is inclusive and respectful of others' perspectives and backgrounds, and he has been committed to creating a more welcoming school for all students, specifically students of color and marginalized students. Another initiative he focused on was to build a more accurate representation of the student body and advanced placement courses. He has contributed so much to ETHS. He is most proud of the changes that he has made to his own health. Through swimming, staying active, his drive and determination, he has shown a commitment to healthy living. Andrew will pursue his education at Case Western University. Congratulations, Andrew. The Dr. Elizabeth Hill North Shore University Health System Professional Staff Scholarship is awarded to Alana Stone. Alana Stone has been interested in the health field since she was a young girl and now is even more committed to being a medical health professional. As a freshman, she was a student trainer for the athletic teams, observing the treatment of athletic injuries. Alana has also benefited from taking sports medicine this year and has enjoyed her science classes at ETHS, a prerequisite for her medical health studies. With her care for others and hard work ethic, Alana will be a healer for many in the future. Alana plans to attend Howard University and major in nursing. Congratulations, Alana. The Florence Keating Award is awarded to Quinn Hughes. Quinn has contributed tremendously to the school community and broader Evanston community. 
He has been an active board member of Students Organized Against Racism, SOAR, since freshman year, working to identify problems that exist within the community and take steps to change them by finding creative solutions. Quinn has also contributed greatly to ETHS through his love for debate. He also has held the position of National Coordinator for the National Debate Mentorship Program. In this role, he identifies low-income schools with underdeveloped or undeveloped school debate programs and mentors students to help create a more enriching debate experience for them. Quinn will pursue his education at Columbia University in New York City and will major in either economics or art history. Congratulations, Quinn. The Florence Keating Award is awarded to Demetrius Mason. Demetrius has high ideals and always finds ways to contribute to his communities. At ETHS, he was an active member of the Student Council, helping with Spirit Week, pep rallies, or by handing out candy grams for Valentine's Day or other holidays, helping out wherever he can and efforts to widen his perspective of social justice issues, in particular police brutality. He took an internship at Evanston Police Station through the Evanston Wheat Program. Through his internship, he asked many questions, expressed his views respectfully, and learned a different perspective from a police officer's viewpoint. Demetrius is open-minded, proactive, and always eager to learn more. Demetrius will pursue his education at HBCU's Southern University and A&M College and will major in business. Congratulations, Demetrius. The Florence Keating Award Scholarship is awarded to Avi Shapira. Avi is the ultimate team player. He'll do whatever can be done to make things better and more comfortable for the people around him. Avi loves to learn and is genuinely curious about hearing what others have to share. Avi has a positive outlook and can be most often seen smiling. He is naturally likable and good natured and he connects easily with people of all ages. Avi is remarkably polite, respectful and mature. Avi is a person you would want involved as a founding member if you were starting a new club or bringing a group together. Avi will pursue his education at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, where he plans to major in history. Congratulations, Avi. The William and Stella Levis Ketter Scholarship is awarded to Willow So. Willow is actively involved in her community through social justice and restorative activism, interning and volunteering at Restore Justice, a nonprofit advocacy organization that supports those who were incarcerated and sentenced at a very young age. She has been an active participant of the Global Glimpse program, where she was able to travel to Ecuador and work in the local communities and learn about different cultures. Leadership and activism come naturally to Willow, and she has also cultivated these traits. Willow plans to be the first generation college graduate from her family, a goal that has brought her great motivation. Willow plans to pursue her education at Northwestern University and will study cognitive science. Congratulations, Willow. The Kiwanis Frank Kaminsky Public Service Scholarship is awarded to Gabriella Sloan. Gabriella is a very helping, considerate, and inclusive individual. She has been an active participant for the last four years in the Evanston Firefighter Explorer Program, allowing her the opportunity to, to work closely with first responders, gaining further admiration for their heroism and commitment to helping others. This past January, she began her work to become a certified emergency medical technician through Oakton Community College. Through this training, she's also developed her teamwork, interpersonal, problem-solving, communication, and leadership abilities. She looks forward to utilizing her training and knowledge in the communities where she resides. 
Gabriella plans to pursue her education at The Ohio State University and will major in biology with a pre-med track. Congratulations, Gabriella. The Timothy McGuire Scholarship is awarded to Vincent Martinez when Vincent is not contributing richly to his learning communities as he takes his studies seriously, you can find him adding his positive energy to the Evanston community. Playing soccer has been a major factor in Vincent's life since the fourth grade. For the past several years, Vincent has played on a club team where he has learned determination, teamwork, and perseverance. During his junior year, Vincent felt a need to do his part in helping the Evanston community and every week he made it a point to participate in a soup kitchen. Vincent is well respected by those around him. Vincent will pursue his education at Loyola University Chicago and will major in forensic science. Congratulations, Vincent. The Joseph and Lenny Lee Moran Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Dazel Anderson. Dazel is a very passionate, strong-willed, and persistent individual that is involved in her community. She participated in the planning committee for the Social Consciousness Series Summit and served as a member in the ETHS's Student Organized Against Racism organization. While she was a junior, she ran for student representative, focusing on her strong values of social justice and taking action. She ran on a platform of confronting racial disparities in disciplinary action, addressing all forms of sexual misconduct with more transparency and integrity, and bridging existing opportunity gaps within ETHS. Dazel plans to pursue her education at Tulane University and will major in political science. Congratulations, Dazel. The Joseph and Lenny Lee Moran Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Camille Kennedy. Camille Kennedy is a poised, intelligent, and hardworking young woman. Her ability to work two jobs in the summer and one job during the school year is impressive. Working in a fast-paced restaurant the entire year and working as a camp counselor in the summer. Excelling in honors and AP courses, Camille has demonstrated strength tenacity, and talent. Camille's success in her different course areas is also indicative of her success in different job settings using analytical, creative, and communication skills. In college and beyond, Camille will use all of these skills and her own determination to succeed. Camille Kennedy will attend Oakton Community College and then Chamberlain College of Nursing and study nursing. Congratulations, Camille. The Negranita Scholarship Fund is awarded to Shira Baker. Shira is a complex thinker, a leader who builds consensus and creates change in the climate, including at UTHS. They enrolled in AP Art History their sophomore year and true passion was found. Shira studied art in Prague, learning about photography, animation, and graphic design. Their creativity within ETHS was seen in their participation in stage crew as Shira painted and worked with design for plays and musicals and was the director of lights for multiple productions. This past summer, Shira took an online class through Otis College of Art and Design, which encouraged Shira even more to find a career in the field of art. Shira will be attending the University of Michigan and studying art history. Congratulations, Shira. The Rotary Club of Evanston Dick Peach Scholarship is awarded to Santana Bernadelle. Even before classes started, Santana Bernadelle started his high school career in August on the football team in 90 degree weather. He has always enjoyed sports and realized that he preferred filming the helmets rather than wearing one. Santana became the manager of the football team, which developed into filming the games so that his team could review and improve their skills and strategies. Santana has a leadership role in the ETHS football program that includes not only filming, but also helping younger players feel welcomed. Santana's goal is to film the Super Bowl and with his desire, talent, and motivation, he will be. Santana Bernadelle plans to attend Arizona State University or the University of Cincinnati 
and will study film. Congratulations, Santana. The Renee Marie Sanders Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Anna Levy. Anna's kindness for others has shown through since her first day in high school. Her ready smile, a welcoming hello, offering to help a classmate understand a topic, helping her teammates get ready for the game, or helping them study on the bus ride home defines who Anna Levy is. Anna's success in the classroom, as well as on the playing field, rivals the success of her interpersonal skills. Anna has played sports since she was five years old, shaping her care for and strong awareness of others. Anna Levy plans to attend Ohio State University and major in sociology. Congratulations, Anna. The Dr. Robert E. Storm Education Scholarship is awarded to Elena Holtzman. Elena is an enthusiastic, passionate learner who has a great work ethic. She seeks opportunities to learn beyond class time and enjoys engaging with teachers and peers about what she is studying. Beyond the classroom, Elena has been active in cheerleading, palm kits, student ambassadors, and wild kit buddies. Elena is a talented dancer participating in studio and competitive dance. She has fostered her interest in working with younger children through McGaw YMCA's Echo Corps and counselor and training programs, and also working as a nanny for the past four years. In the future, Elena plans to have a career in education and social work. Elena will pursue her education at Marquette University and major in educational studies. Congratulations, Elena. The Teachers Council Teaching Career Scholarship is awarded to Jamar Smith. Jamar is a respectful, kind, and community-focused student. Throughout high school, Jamar has been a member of the AVID Leadership Board, Student Ambassadors, Emerge Leadership Program, Evanston Scholars, and the Boys Volleyball Team. Jamar is most proud of his leadership work for the ETHS Black Student Summit, where he served on the committee for two years, planning and facilitating workshops. Desiring to make a difference wherever he goes, driven by his goals, valuing education, and being thoughtful, fair-minded, and empathetic, we are confident that Jamar will be an excellent teacher. Jamar plans to attend Howard University in the fall, where he plans to major in elementary education. Congratulations, Jamar. The Rose and Andy Thomas Scholarship is awarded to Gabriella Dillis. Gabriella has a desire to understand individuals within the context of their culture, including their language. She has excelled in studying French, German, and Spanish at ETHS. In addition, Gabby is bilingual, learning both English and Portuguese as a young child while living in Brazil. Gabby is also the editor and contributor of the magazine of Untaught Languages. The club, by the same name, celebrates the diversity at ETHS and the 42 different languages spoken by ETHS students. Writing in the Portuguese language about Brazil for the mule has been another way that Gabby has contributed to ETHS. Gabriela Dillis plans on attending McGill University in Montreal and studying linguistics. Congratulations, Gabriela. The WCE Charitable Foundation Linda Wade Community Service Award is presented to Hannah Bambick. Hannah's hard work has been instrumental in earning math department awards and induction into the ETHS and National Honor Societies. She has been very active in student ambassadors, and this year Hannah has been on the group's executive board and is director of the programs for incoming freshmen. She has also participated regularly in Team ASAP, French Breakfast Club, and Wild Kid Buddies. During the past four years, Hannah has made participation in the Community Service Club a priority, as well as serving as a weekly tutor. Outside of ETHS, Hannah works as a golf caddy and is on the Mudlark Theater's youth board. Hannah will pursue her education at the University of Vermont and major in environmental engineering, possibly double majoring in math. Congratulations, Hannah. The WCE Charitable Foundation Linda Wade Community Service Award goes to Mateo Perez. Mateo's love for learning and a strong work ethic are evident in all he does. He has earned ETHS honor roll recognition each term and is proud to be in the Latinx honor roll. Mateo has been a member of the swim and dive team and has participated in students organize against racism, gymnastics, and DECA. In addition to his involvement with the United Catholic Ministry, 
and weekly volunteering at St. Nicholas Parish, Mateo also volunteers at local soup kitchens and food pantries. Mateo helps with fundraisers and food drives and is always willing to roll up his sleeves to help with a positive attitude. Mateo will pursue his education at Parsons School of Design where he will study communication. Congratulations, Mateo. The Sandra Stern Wolf Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Mikaela Parisian. Mikaela's curiosity has led her to take full advantage of all that ETHS has to offer, including her performances in YAMO and the All Black Student Play. Mikaela's passion for activism and equity prompted her to join the Board for Students Organized Against Racism, where she hosted affinity spaces and provided workshops to students and staff to facilitate conversations about race. This summer, Mikaela fused her love for performance art and activism by organizing a youth performance event. The socially distant program included Yamo Dance Company, singers, poetry, and vendors, which raised $9,000 in donations for local Black-owned businesses. Mikaela will pursue her education at Northwestern University and will major in theater and business. Congratulations, Mikaela. The Paola Wask Bemani Scholarship is awarded to Amelia Campoverde Forda. Amelia has been an active member of the community as an environmentalist. She began learning and growing her passions through an ecology camp, where she has served as a camp counselor, connecting with the younger kids and helping them learn about ecology, just as she did. Through her AP Environmental Science course, she was introduced to Sunrise Movement a youth climate action organization that develops leaders in environmental activism. She has since become a leader of her local Sunrise Movement chapter and works directly on issues such as environmental justice, climate activism, the Green New Deal, and sustainability. Amelia plans to pursue her education at Mount Holyoke College and will major in environmental science. Congratulations, Amelia. The Wynn Academic Scholarship is awarded to Elute Hall. Elute is a scholar who has worked hard and earned honorable recognition every year, including high honors. His creativity and skills have grown through participation in YOU Poetry and Poetics Club. At ETHS, Elute has shown many strengths and has thrived in the music program, particularly in the music tech and AP music theory classes. His work experience includes serving as a family-focused camp counselor, where he has been a great mentor and role model for younger students. In the future, Alut hopes to combine his interest in music production and business. Alut will pursue his education at Howard University and major in media, journalism, and film, with an emphasis in audio. Congratulations, Alut! The Rotary Club of Evanston Kurt Sharp Scholarship is awarded to Taiwan Harris. Taiwan has always been very committed to community service. Since 2018, he has served as a student leader in the Wild Kit Therapeutic Theater Workshop. In this role, he has helped ETHS students in the special education department develop social skills. He also worked as an inclusion aide for the special recreation department for the city of Evanston where he was responsible for communicating with and supervising the children. His commitment to community service was exemplified by receiving the ETHS Community Service Award, a well-deserved recognition. Taiwan plans to pursue his education at either DuPage Community College or Southern New Hampshire University and will study culinary arts with a concentration in bakery and pastry. Congratulations, Taiwan. The Burlington Schoenman Scholarship is awarded to Santiago Calum. Santiago has been involved in the arts by taking classes, participating in shows, and being enthusiastically involved in extracurricular activities. A highlight of his participation in the arts is YAMO, a show that is both student-written and student-directed. He has been a part of multiple performances, both inside and outside of ETHS. While performing in these plays, he was also in the vocal jazz ensemble, practicing blending complex harmonies and syncing complex rhythms. 
He continues exploring his passion for arts through theater, dance, singing, photography, and so much more. Santiago plans to pursue his education at the University of Vermont and will study in the College of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations, Santiago. The class of 1954 50th Reunion Scholarship is awarded to Louise Bond. Louise is committed to creating social change. She is a true leader in the sense that she cares about things that are bigger than her. As evidenced by her impressive community service record and her commitment to activism within the ETHS and Evanston communities. Louise's involvement in the Community Service Club increased throughout her four-year tenure at ATHS, first as a participant and now as the club's president. She has volunteered with Voter Resignation, Chicago Humanities Fest, and Civic Engagement Workshops. Last year, she spearheaded the creation of the Sustainability Committee and presented to the school board about environmental issues. Louise will pursue her education at Tufts University and will major in Civic Studies and sociology with a peace and justice minor. Congrats, Louise. The class of 1954 50th reunion scholarship is awarded to Henry Brady. Henry strives for success in all that he does, earning ETHS and National Honor Society recognition, as well as an Iowa Scholastic Art and Writing Award. Henry has also participated in Wildcat Buddies, last year serving as a peer leader and this year as co-president. As a co-founder of the Sports Business Club, Henry learned networking skills with professional sports journalists and agents. In addition, Henry participated in DECA, Ice Hockey, Kellogg Connections, and CYO Basketball. Henry participated in a service trip to Honduras and volunteered at Connections for the Homeless. His work experience includes serving as a special recreation inclusion aide. Henry will pursue his education at University of Southern California and major in business administration. Congratulations, Henry. The ETHS Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Carmia Beatty. Carmia is a motivated, thoughtful, and confident young woman who continues to find ways to challenge herself. Carmia is a strong advocate and leader for young black women, and her enthusiasm and passion for positive change goes above and beyond. Her contributions to our school and community promote equity and growth for her peers. Known as a student leader who knows how to advocate for social justice and change, Carmia's fundraising skills and leadership roles, such as student union president and student representative on the ETHS school board, have had a huge impact on our community. Carmia plans to attend Howard University, where she will be majoring in biology. Congratulations, Carmia. The ETHS Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Zachary Bahar. Throughout his high school career, Zachary has dedicated his time to improving the spaces he interacts with, both big and small, to create human connections. His greatest contribution is his work on the student newspaper, The Evanstonian. His coverage on many pieces, including Black Lives Matter, remote learning, student mental health needs, as well as his work with the ETHS Holocaust Remembrance Week, has led to larger conversations that will last well into the future. Zachary's character and contributions to his school and community are truly an inspiration. Zachary will pursue his education at John Hopkins University and will double major in math and Jewish studies. Congratulations, Zachary. The ETHS Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Josie Hansen. Josie is a hardworking student with a strong moral character who has made generous contributions to our school and community. She's a witty and determined young woman who strives for personal growth on stage, on the soccer field, and in the classroom. Her mind is constantly working, wheels spinning with creative ideas, which can be seen through her acting in local and school theater productions. In addition to being a member of the Community Service Club and co-leader of the International Committee, Josie was a student ambassador peer tutor, and captain of the mock trial team at ETHS. Josie has committed to Denison University to study earth and environmental science on a pre-engineering track. Congratulations, Josie. The ETHS Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Marquita Landrum. Marquita is a curious and motivated student. She enjoys traveling and has attended school in both Germany and the Netherlands. Marquita keeps busy with a variety of extracurriculars, including book club, Sunday school, violin lessons, and service in the community. 
enjoying giving back to her community, Marquita has volunteered with the First United Methodist Youth Group since her freshman year. During remote learning, Marquita joined the Community Service Club and began tutoring her peers. Marquita is a compassionate student who values openness and acceptance of everyone and anyone regardless of where they are from. Marquita will pursue her education at the University of Leipzig and will major in physics. Congratulations, Marquita. The ETHS Alumni Association Scholarship is awarded to Maya Strong. An active leader at our school, Maya has also done amazing work in our community during her four years with the Community Service Club. Maya is also a student athletic trainer who attends athletic events and helps our athletic trainer treat injuries that occur during a game. She is involved with the Student Ambassador Leadership Program and with planning our Black Student Summit, playing an important part in the planning committee leadership team. Maya's continuous efforts, hard work, and contribution towards school and the Evanston community have been invaluable. Maya plans to attend the University of Missouri in the fall, where she will be studying nursing. Congratulations, Maya. The ETHS Booster Scholarship is awarded to Nicole Levy. Throughout her academic career at ETHS, Nicole has dedicated her time and commitment to many projects, nonprofits, events, and services. For the past four years, Nicole has participated and assisted in the YAMO Dance Company, Wild Kit Buddies, and the ETHS Israeli Club. In addition to that, she has been a part of the work with the Jewish Day School in Chicago, the Cherry Preschool, and was a geometry teaching assistant. Her high school experience was enriched through her participation with extracurriculars as she made memories and connections she still holds dear. Nicole should be really proud of all the work that she's done. Nicole will pursue her education at American University and will major in psychology and secondary education. Congratulations, Nicole. The ETHS Booster Scholarship is awarded to Mary McClintock. Mary holds herself to the highest standard, seeks out meaningful experiences, and frequently asks for feedback in order to improve. Mary has participated in the ETHS Girls Varsity Lacrosse team for the past four years, as well as the ETHS Girls Tennis team. She has received the MVP Award, the Effort Award, the Sportsmanship Award, as well as many others. While not participating in sports, Mary spends time volunteering in Best Buddies, including as a member of their executive board. In the summer, Mary's dedication is apparent when she repairs homes for families through the Appalachian Service Project. Mary will be attending Boston College in the fall to study nursing. Congratulations, Mary. The Margaret Gunn Scholarship is awarded to Agustina Arce. Agustina is a very passionate, ambitious, and helpful individual. Inside of the classroom, Agustina takes initiative, naturally leading discussions within the larger classroom setting and smaller breakout groups. Outside of the classroom, Agustina has had a leadership role in girls' gymnastics, taking on more responsibilities and mentoring the younger girls within the program. An additional highlight to Agustina's involvement is her contributions to the Escuela Latina Americana in Chicago. Agustina mentors youth at the school by teaching them Spanish through songs and storytelling. Agustina has the goal to be the first person in her family to graduate from a university in the United States and will pursue her education at Washington University in St. Louis and will major in psychology, neuroscience with a pre-med track. Congratulations, Agustina. The Margaret Gunn Scholarship is awarded to Susanna Choro. Susanna's passion for learning, curiosity, and persistence has been evident throughout high school. While dealing with personal and family medical issues, Susanna developed a strong interest in medical careers, desiring to learn everything she could about treatments and procedures. At ETHS, Susanna has earned honorable recognition as well as been inducted into the ETHS and National Honor Societies. She is an officer in Students Without Borders and participated in Northwestern Academy of Evanston. Susanna has also participated in community service, including Quest for Earth, Rotary International, Evanston Community Foundation, ETHS Visual Arts Night, and Empty Bowl. Susanna will pursue her education at University of Illinois at Chicago and major in biology pre-med. Congratulations, Susanna. 
The Margaret Gunn Scholarship is awarded to Adrian Cirrus. From a young age, Adrian had realized his calling in life was to become a neurologist. A life-changing moment is what pushed and motivated him to follow his passion and dedicate himself to becoming a doctor. Along with a rigorous curriculum that will assist him in his career path, Adrian spends much of his free time immersing himself in the world of neuroscience. Adrian's goal of going to medical school encompasses every part of his life, even often watching neuroscience lectures from various universities on YouTube and listening to his favorite podcast on neuroscience by Andrew Humerman called The Humerman Lab. Adrian will pursue his education at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and will major in neuroscience. Congratulations, Adrian. The Margaret Gunn Scholarship is awarded to Sophie Newman. Sophie is a very curious, thoughtful, and determined student. She has taken full advantage of our resources and has challenged herself by taking rigorous courses here at ETHS. Sophie also connects her experiences with her passions. On a pre-med public health service trip to Costa Rica, she gained valuable experience in public health that helped solidify her interest in pursuing medicine and science in college. Over this past summer, she participated in Northwestern University's course, So You Want to Be a Doctor, an experience that gave her a deeper insight into the field of medicine and public health. Sophie will pursue her education at Washington University in St. Louis and will major in psychology with a pre-med track. Congratulations, Sophie. The Jeanette E. Lee Memorial Award is awarded to Anna Sweeney. Anna is a focused scholar and a lifelong learner. During her time at ETHS, Anna has been active in STEM courses and student organizations. She has earned 12 medals in the past three years in Science Olympiad, participated in math modeling teams, and founded the ETHS HOSA Future Health Professional Student Club. This past summer, Anna was selected to do research with a professor from the University of Illinois, Chicago. Anna also volunteers through Seesaw and Excite Groups, creating STEM labs for teachers to use in Africa and within our local elementary and middle school district. Anna will continue her education at the University of Edinburgh and she will study physics. Congratulations, Anna. The Jeanette E. Lee Memorial Award is awarded to Susan Schweitzer. There is not one activity that Susan undertakes where she does not pursue the course or the activity to the highest level. Beginning dance at a very young age, in high school, Susan spent over 20 hours a week with the ETHS Dance Company, two dance studios, and the dance competition team. Susan is on the senior leadership board also, supporting new dancers on the team, creating choreography for upcoming virtual dance programs, and marketing the team's events. She also participates in student ambassadors and DECA. While in high school, Susan received the silver and bronze recognition for Girl Scouts due to her servant leadership. Susan will attend Carnegie Mellon University in the fall and pursue a degree in English or math. Congratulations, Susan. The Janet E. Lee Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Anna Telfin. Anna is a scholar who has sought out extremely rigorous courses, demonstrating her love to learn through hands-on activities and class discussions. She gets along well with classmates and is always willing to give a helping hand to others. As a passionate and curious learner, Anna has participated in ballet and piano outside of ETHS, math team, debate, DECA, women in STEM, student ambassadors, and a mentorship program through her accelerated ChemPhys class here at ETHS. Anna's leadership and creativity are highlighted by her involvement with Writers Showcase, where she has served on the executive board these past two years. Anna plans to attend Scripps College in the fall. Congratulations, Anna. The Lions Club Scholarship is awarded to Patrick Neen. Patrick is a student with an excellent work ethic and a wonderful sense of humor that school staff finds refreshing. Throughout high school, he has grown into a true self-advocate with great determination and problem-solving skills. This will take him very far in life. 
Patrick participates in our student ambassador program. And before the pandemic, he could regularly be found at school helping a new transfer student or taking part in our monthly family night programming. Patrick also volunteers at multiple soup kitchens in Evanston every month, helping others get a hot meal and have a safe place to eat. Patrick will be attending Oakton Community College in the fall as an undecided major. Congratulations, Patrick. The Dr. Jeffrey Taggart ETHS College Fund Scholarship is awarded to Henry Blickenstaff. Henry is a very independent, hardworking and focused individual. Eager to learn, Henry has challenged himself by taking rigorous courses throughout high school and took an independent study course in Spanish after completing our capstone AP Spanish course. Henry has played a key role in ETHS's golf and tennis teams and supports students by being a peer tutor in Spanish and math. Through a study abroad program in Madrid, Henry was able to immerse himself in the Spanish language and culture while also creating lifelong friendships that he still remains in touch with. Henry will pursue his education at Tufts University and will major in history. Congratulations, Henry. The Dr. Jeffrey Taggart ETHS College Fund is awarded to Anna Grant Bolton. Willing to take on challenges, Anna has demonstrated the capacity to persevere through difficulties. Showing her commitment to always becoming a better scholar, Anna took additional rigorous courses. One particularly challenging course was AP Physics, where she developed even stronger critical thinking skills and increased her ability to process knowledge abstractly. Soon enough, the elements that were initially the most challenging for her became her favorite part. The criteria for this award include challenging coursework and increased academic performance, and Anna has truly shown that. Anna will pursue her education at Trinity College and will major in political science and government. Congratulations, Anna. The Dr. Jeffrey Taggart ETHS College Fund is awarded to Frances Wharton. From her first days at ETHS, Frances showed her commitment to working hard. Frances loves learning and seeks opportunities to connect with teachers and peers beyond class time. Her academic awards and recognition include ETHS and National Honor Societies, earning high honor role every term, and being named an AP Scholar. Frances is a talented dancer. She's a member of ETHS Dance Ensemble, ETHS Dance Company, and Dance Center Evanston, where she studies a variety of dance styles, including ballet. At ETHS, Frances is a principal clarinet player, spirit captain in marching and pep bands, and a mentor to other musicians. Frances will pursue her education at Skidmore College and major in physics and minor in dance. Congratulations, Frances. The Norman W. Thomas Jr. Scholarship is awarded to Alexis Gerber. Alex Gerber's strength, determination, intelligence, and insight are going to help make her become such an effective, caring physician. Alex suffered hardships growing up, and through her focus, perseverance, and hard work, she has been able to manage the effects of these hardships. Alex has done extremely well in high school, excelling in highly rigorous courses while balancing myriad extracurricular activities and challenges. Alex's empathetic attitude and determination after coming through her hardships shows through in her kindness and generosity to other students, her family, and the community. Alex Gerber will attend Northwestern University and major in biomedical engineering in the Integrated Science Program. Congratulations, Alex. The Janice S. Jones Academic Achievement Award is awarded to Joan Day. Joan Day's academic success, interest in the STEAM fields, and desire to help others has motivated her to support and encourage other young women, in particular, young women of color, to enter the STEAM field. Joan interned for the last year at the Pinkard Lab at Northwestern University and developed a club that encourages other young women to enter the STEAM field. Joan and a friend lead the group and use the platform that they developed to have the members work on projects on their own and then to meet monthly to discuss, hang out, and enjoy learning about STEAM. Joan plans on attending University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and major in materials science and engineering. Congratulations, Joan. 
The Catherine McKnight Award is awarded to Alex Johnson. Alex has an incredible sense of humor, is very knowledgeable about world events, as he enjoys discussing politics with supporting statistical data. His love for learning is apparent. Alex has remained active in the Justin Wynn Leadership Academy since having been nominated in fifth grade. He has been a co-chair and a leader of the Redesign Task Force for Mudlark Theater, as well as co-wrote and co-directed a skit to raise money for the youth theater. As an athlete, Alex has been a member of the ETHS Varsity Boys Swim Team and this year was elected to be their team captain. Alex will be attending Georgetown University next year and he's planning to study political economy or government. Congratulations, Alex. The Catherine McKnight Scholarship is awarded to Abigail Roman. Abby is an outstanding student with a passion for education and improving community through her volunteer work. In addition to enjoying learning, working hard, and excelling in rigorous courses, Abby has been a member of the lacrosse team and tennis team all four years and participated in team ASAP and SHAPE. She has been involved as both a member and a leader with Wild Kit Buddies and the Community Service Club. If Abby is not meeting for one of her clubs, sports, or committees, you can find her volunteering at nonprofit organizations, which include a local soup kitchen, have dreams, or girls play sports. Abby plans to attend Tulane University in the fall and is deciding on majoring in either communications or business management. Congratulations, Abby. The North End Mothers Club STEM Award is awarded to Sophia Haletko. Sophia is an extremely enthusiastic and inquisitive student whose excitement and devotion to math and science is unparalleled. Sophia has a deep passion for bridging the achievement gap at ETHS and understanding how she can utilize her privilege to ensure her peers gain access to the same support and skills she has. Loving out this value, Sophia does extensive math tutoring both at ETHS and in the Evanston community. She has also created lesson plans with her science teacher that require minimal resources in an effort to provide access to science education worldwide. Sophia will pursue her education at Duke University and will major in computer science. Congratulations, Sophia. The North End Mothers Club STEM Award goes to Leah Potter. Leah is a motivated, hardworking scholar who has earned recognition from the ETHS and National Honor Societies, the Asian Honor Roll, the Course Award in AP Calculus AB, and designation as an AP Scholar. A member of the ETHS cross country and soccer teams, Leah has also participated in Israeli Club, Chinese Club, Civil Engineering and Architecture Competition Team, Girls Robotics Team, and Women in STEM. She has also been a manager for ETHS Boys Soccer and worked in area restaurants. Leah has always enjoyed creative problem solving and her interest in STEM fields was sparked by the ETHS Wildcat Engineering Camp and PLTW Engineering classes. Leah will pursue her education at Rolls Holman Institute of Technology and major in civil engineering. Congratulations, Leah. The Joanne Murphy Troutwine Music Scholarship is awarded to Asher Barron. Having been a New York Times editorial contest finalist and NCTE selected writer, Asher has also earned high honor roll and been named to ETHS and National Honor Societies. At ETHS, Asher has been very active in the ETHS music program through concert band, wind symphony, symphony orchestra, marching band, ETHS jazz ensemble and combo, pep band, and Yamo orchestra. They have been section leader, composer for Yamo, and band mentor. Outside of ETHS, Asher is also a member of the Midwest Young Artists Conservatory, provides academic and music tutoring for District 65 students, and volunteers with Connections for the Homeless. Asher will pursue their education at Columbia University and double major in public health and music performance. Congratulations, Asher. The League of Women Voters Scholarship is awarded to Madeline Young. Madeline has always been interested in politics and the important role that politics play in the improvement of people's lives. Madeline Young has been a successful member and leader of the accomplished ETHS debate team all four years, debating topics that included the environmental, wage, and voting issues. Interning for three months with Representative Jan Tchaikovsky, she also volunteered for the Sierra Club 
to assist in the latest Evanston mayoral race by vetting the answers of the three candidates on the Sierra survey. Madeline will continue to help make the world a better place by continuing to volunteer in politics. Madeline will attend American University and study international studies and environmental studies. Congratulations, Madeline. The Oliver Beatty Cunningham Memorial Prize is awarded each year to the senior who identifies as male or gender nonconforming and who ranks first among the members of their class in all around qualities such as intellectual ability, capacity for leadership, sense of responsibility, and distinguished service to the school and community. This scholarship is paid directly to the recipient. This year's outstanding senior being awarded the Oliver Beatty Cunningham Award is Valerie Jean Schock. In the classroom, Valerie is known as a compassionate and inclusive student with a contagious energy, always willing to help others. He noticed a classmate coping with a social anxiety on one of his classes, which impacted his classmates' ability to make a positive, meaningful relationships in the class. Well, typical of Valerie, he jumped into action immediately by finding ways to help this classmate feel included, inviting them to join his group and sending notes of encouragement to this other student. That's the kind of person Valerie is. A deeply compassionate student, he is well respected by peers, classmates, and teammates. He participates in the varsity level in football and in wrestling, and is highly distinguished as a wrestler, earning first place in the Central Suburban League Conference. He's recognized as a leader for his wrestling weight class, and his teammates often seek him out for feedback on their own training. Valerie has discovered how to apply his resourcefulness, hard work ethic, and innovation to the classroom, to extracurricular activities in the community. When it comes to finding ways to generate revenue, <laughs> Valerie is an entrepreneur, and I witnessed this firsthand many times over the years, even starting early in his career here at ETHS. He frequently shares business proposals with staff and friends and considers the community's needs. Among his many goals, Valerie plans to uh, own and open the first bowling alley in Evanston. I can hardly wait. Connecting his desire to grow his business acumen with his commitment to help others, Valerie inspires um, and also aspires to pursue a career in business and bring to fruition his lifetime goal of opening an adoption center to connect youth with families. Algebra and entrepreneurship was one of Valerie's favorite classes. And that's where he took on a leadership role to begin and run a business. He and his classmates developed a hand delivery business model where they sold coffee to ETHS staff members and then took it even further. They expanded the coffee delivery business that they had created in class and continued to run the business for years beyond the last day of that class, right up until the pandemic began. Valerie will pursue his education at Howard University and will major in business administration. What a great young man. Congratulations, Valerie. The North End Mothers Club Award is annually presented to the senior who identifies as female or gender nonconforming and who ranks first among their classmates in all round qualities, including intellectual ability, steadfastness of character, capacity for leadership, and distinguished service to the school and to the community. Students must have obtained a 3.5 GPA or higher to earn this prestigious award. And this is one of those scholarships that's paid directly to the recipient. And this year's outstanding senior girl is Alamade Thomas. Alamade is kind, caring, and outgoing, and strives to better herself and the world around her. The impressive effort that Alamade uh, puts forward is seen in her commitment to her schoolwork, as well as to the larger community. 
She's a role model for her peers and is consistently challenging herself, taking rigorous courses, working hard, and earning stellar grades. Her academic performance is just one example of her dedication to her stu studies and the importance of learning for her. While at Evanston Township High School, Alameda has been on the basketball and the swim team and has been on the track team for all four years of high school. Understanding the value of being a member of a team and also being a leader, it is no surprise that her leadership is seen in the AVID program as well. As someone who values continuous improvement and is indeed a continuous learner, Alameda has been on the AVID leadership board since her freshman year and works with the AVID staff to continue to develop and improve our AVID program. She's empathetic. She is consistently looking way for ways to help others in the community. Alameda has been on the team ASAP, which is our advanced placement team for promoting and uh, assisting and supporting one another. And, and she has also been on the uh, Black Student Summit Committee. For last year's Black Student Summit, Alameda actually helped plan and facilitate the workshops and even helped design the logo for the t-shirts. If you haven't seen those t-shirts, they're wonderful and they are in such high demand. Her focus and her effort had a great impact on that successful Black Student Summit. And in fact, this past year, ETHS had over a thousand attendees. If Alameda is not meeting with one of her committees, you can find her volunteering at her church. And she is in the children's ministry, as well as meeting with women for the non-for-profit networking group, Beauty for Brains. Alameda believes that volunteering is a calling and she will do whatever she can do to support her community. She plans to join uh, several student-run committees while in college. And believe me, having watched her in action here at ETHS, I know she is going to be highly visible and a leader on campus. She's going to attend Tulane University in the fall where she plans, now get this, to double major in political science and international development and marketing with a minor in Arabic. <laughs> it's really terrific that she has been such a good student here at ETHS and has learned the value of studying and academic performance because that is going to be a lot to accomplish at Tulane. Congratulations, our outstanding senior girl, Alameda. We did it. As I promised you, it was going to be a lot of fun and a lot of celebration of each of you. Uh, students, I do need to, though, close with some remarks that uh, are really important reminders to you. Uh, you have uh, already received an email uh, about scholarship night, and you need to remember and revisit that again, that you are required to do these things. First of all, you need to attend one of the meetings on Friday, May 14th, via Zoom. Uh, there actually are three opportunities for you at 9, 10, or 11 that morning, but you must, in order to get your scholarship, attend one of those Zoom meetings. Uh, the next one is, you need to handwrite a thank you note to the scholarship sponsor uh, who uh, uh, of the scholarship that you've been awarded. And you need to uh, provide a copy of that note to Ms. Cooper via email and then mail the original no later than May, Wednesday, May 19th. Uh, this is really important. And again, to get your scholarship, you really have to have taken care of both of those things, attend the meeting and have mailed and, and submitted a copy of your handwritten thank you note. Uh, and the third thing is, I want you to note that scholarship funds will not be distributed unless you attend one of those meetings and do the thank you note. So it's not just, it's not just a request, it's really a necessity so that you can indeed get the, uh, the scholarship distribution that you have so well deserved. Uh, well, we're looking forward to another big celebration uh, on May 23rd. Uh, yes, your graduation is uh, clearly approaching. Uh, the class of 2021 has just been an extraordinary class, and I'll actually speak to that a little bit more at graduation because uh, you really are 
uh, in so many ways, an extraordinary class. Um, and uh, also, uh, for those of you who are participating in the in-person graduation ceremonies, that's coming up on uh, Friday the 21st. So we have a lot going on. Uh, we're going to be celebrating all of you in so many special ways, and we just want you to know that you have earned all of the praise and all the scholarships that you've been receiving. We're very, very proud of you. It's a great day to be a wild kid.